As home prices have soared, more people are asking if the market is in a bubble and will it crash. Which markets do you watch to spot it coming, you may be asking? We're going to cover that in today's video. There's a saying in the industry that all real estate is local, so national level statistics only go so far to give you an early warning. You need to watch the key markets to stay ahead of the trend. We're going to look at three big metrics to evaluate markets by and then give our list of the top 20 metropolitan area markets to watch as an early warning sign on any crash that might be on the way. First, you want to make sure you aren't looking at tiny markets that aren't going to be trendsetters. So we consider the total number of home sales in a metropolitan area to control for this. Using data from Redfin, a national real estate brokerage, we looked at over 600 metropolitan areas across the nation and ranked them by number of homes sold in 2021. Second, we rank these metropolitan areas by the dollar increase in 2021 to show us who's really moving the needle on median home prices. And finally, we rank them by price growth in 2021 to gauge the intensity of the price, movement, the price movements in that area. Using these three metrics, we came up with an overall rank for each metropolitan area. I'll include the full list in the description down below. The markets making the top of the list are Austin, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, Boise, Idaho, Riverside, California, Naples, Florida, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, Bend, Oregon, Salt Lake City, Utah, Heber, Utah, and Northport, Florida. You may have noticed some big names missing like San Francisco and San Jose in California or the New York metropolitan area. And while these are some of the biggest markets in the nation with some of the most high priced homes, this list we have here are the up and coming markets they're seeing high sales volumes and big price increases, even if they weren't as well known in mainstream media the last few years. You may also have noticed that most of these have median prices that are closer to the national average than the higher end markets, which makes sense as this is where the attention has shifted now that these higher end markets are seeing some serious affordability problems. With the recent trend toward more remote working opportunities, workers are a lot more mobile now and able to find more affordable markets further away from their employer's offices. We'll be doing some deep dives into these top markets individually in future videos, so make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell down below so you won't miss those when they come out. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with others to help support the channel. It is much appreciated. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.